So, you've quit smoking. You're trying to exercise a little better. Now, if you haven't quit smoking, then you're just a stupid dummy. And I don't even know why you're subscribed to me because you ain't learning shit. As a prepper, as a regular human being, as getting older, you shouldn't smoke. That's the bottom line. Every doctor tells you that. Why you're still doing it is because you're weak. And that's it. You know, you come off like some tough guy, but you can't even quit smoking. You're weak. You're a piece of shit. One thing you'll learn when you quit smoking, man, that shit stinks. You walk into a front of a grocery store or somebody standing at the cash register, you can smell it. It is such a disgusting smell. I'm telling you, you smell like dirt. And that, well, you actually smell like shit, but I mean, it's just unbelievable the odor it gives. And you don't even realize it because you're so used to it. And it's just horrible. When somebody talks to me that smokes, um, you can smell it on them. I want to get away from them. Um, you know, if you're in business or if you're in sales or anything, you're losing customers. And that's all there is to it. Your house stinks. I mean... You've heard the cliche about all of it over and over and over. Bottom line is, every prepper you see sitting at his desk with a cigarette in his mouth makes no sense to me. They talk about prepare, 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 and yet they don't prepare their bodies. Stupidest shit I ever seen. I weigh 200 pounds. I'm 5 foot 10. I am about probably 30 pounds overweight now. And... It's rough when you get 60 years old. It's hard to lose weight. I usually go out two to three times a week carrying my backpack. Sometimes I walk two miles. Sometimes I walk five miles. Lately, with the heat, I've had to go at like 6 o'clock in the morning. It's just horrible. The last month here in Tennessee has been horrible. And uh, I just keep hanging around that area of 200 pounds. Even when I, I don't eat a lot of things that are bad for you, I really don't. I don't eat McDonald's. I don't eat fast food. Um, once in a while, I'll go for a Chinese smorg, and that's only because my wife likes to go to that. And I'm very limited in what I can eat when I go to those places just because of all the crap they put in. They use the most horrible food. Like, they'll use a beef that is so tough, and then they'll add all kinds of stuff to it to tender it up is what it is. Chinese people are one people that know how to make anything and everything uh, tender that's for sure but I wanted to take some time to show you being that you quit smoking and your lungs are starting to feel good and you've started walking a little bit so that way when you do put a pack on you can actually do five miles and one thing to remember that if you've quit smoking and you're not walking your lungs are not used to it okay I don't care if you put five pounds in your pack. I don't care if you put 40. It's not about the weight. It's about getting your lungs used to it. So when you go out and walk two miles and you do that every other day or twice or twice a week, you will find that you'll build the walk further. Now, also what happens is when I go to Walmart, I always park in the back. As far away from that front door as I can. And that gives me some extra walk time. I do these little tricks that helped to make me somewhat healthy. Now, I'm not a health nut. Do not think that. Oh, my God. I don't have a gym membership. You know, I would not have time. And having time is the biggest thing. I mean, just in the last, I don't know, last four weeks, and you notice I haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks, um, work is a big thing. We all got to do it. And sometimes I'm working 14, 16 hours straight. And I got to force myself to take that one hour or two hours to go walk someplace. Um, when I'm done working, I just crash. You know, exercise isn't a big thing on my mind. I'm too busy thinking, how much money can I make? How much stuff I can get paid off? You know, and that's what you're pushing all the time. Well, at least that's what I push. I mean, I don't have a mortgage. My truck's paid off. My credit cards are paid off. I don't have anything but your basic bills. That's it. But I like my toys, so there's stuff I buy in the way of my toys. But I want to take this time and show you this stuff. Like, a lot of people will buy different oils, okay? 
And this is 100% avocado oil. And it's not cheap. Not cheap at all. I use this for cooking with. And um, I use it for sautéing. And even when you read the bottom of it, it'll say best within four to six months after opening. It, it doesn't last forever, you know. And the reason they put... Um, the reason they have these other oils and they put seed oils and they put everything in them is to make them last forever. Literally, it can sit on your shelf for a couple of years and be fine to use. But when you buy stuff that's actually good for you, you can't do it. And when you see 100% pure on a bottle, it doesn't necessarily mean it is. Okay? So you really have to go to the ingredients. Like it says, naturally refined and cholesterol free. I don't listen to any of that advertising on the front. Nothing. Okay? I will literally go to where it talks about, you know, the ingredients themselves. You know, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, zero carbohydrates. And being I'm diabetic, type 2, zero carbohydrates is like gold, okay? That means my blood sugar ain't going to go up whatsoever, okay? So I immediately go to the ingredients, and you're not going to believe what this says. The ingredients on this is 100% avocado oil. That's it. Um, it's a product. It's packed in USA, but it's a product in Mexico and Spain. All that is is avocado oil. There's nothing else in it whatsoever. Now, this ain't cheap, okay? I'm going to tell you right now. I mean, this bottle here was $20 when I picked it up. But this will last me... Oh, geez, four months easy, but you notice when I read it, it says it only lasts six months. I use this in all my stir fries. You know, I'll get a sirloin steak, I'll get some different colored peppers, some mushrooms, stuff like that, and I'll cut them up and I'll make myself a stir fry. So basically, I'm strictly eating protein, vegetables, and I add some salt to it, and it's super good. Super good. And it's good for you. So, like I said, you quit smoking, you're walking. Now it's time to look at what you're putting in your body. What are you eating? You know, don't buy the cheapest oil because you think, hey, I'm saving money. You're not saving money. You're hurting your body. And as we get older, we got to start paying attention more to what's going on. Unless you want to be, you know, pushing those things or sitting on those carts in Walmart or you want to, you know, you want to destroy your body. And as you get older, it's much easier to do that. When you're in your 20s and 30s, oh, God, you can do everything. But when you start getting, you know, 60 years old, my age, you got to start paying attention to what you're eating, your exercise, and try to do the best you can. Avocado oil, pick it up. You won't regret it. I don't use butter. I don't use anything in a stir fry. This is all I use. And you'll notice there's a little bit out of this. You see that? Okay. Um, this was bought yesterday. I had two stir fries and that's all I used. You're not even using that much and, it, and it's a high temperature. It doesn't smoke that bad. Really good. Another thing to consider. A lot of people buy mayonnaise, right? Now this ain't cheap either. This is referred to as Chosen Foods Classic Mayo made with 100% pure avocado oil. You see that? Now this ain't cheap. This is like about seven bucks for this little jar. But when you read the ingredients, okay, avocado oil, filtered water, egg yolks, whole eggs, distilled white vinegar, mustard, um, there's mustard seeds, salt, spices, rosemary. Um, did you notice I could read all these words? And... It was amazing, wasn't it? Now, if I go back and I look at the calorie section, we're looking at 8% um, saturated fat. You do need some fat in your diet. 5% cholesterol. Uh, sodium, 2%. Total carbs, 0. Sugar, 0. Awesome for a type 2 diabetic. So, what do I use this for? And again, you don't want to keep this forever. You want to use this stuff, okay? <laughs> um, I usually eat tomato sandwiches. Like right now, tomatoes are on, and I'll use a whole wheat bread. And I'll get tomatoes from the Omnish, because we have them around me. And I'll eat some amazing tomato sandwiches with some salt and pepper and some of this 100% um, avocado 
mayonnaise. Okay? So, you're hearing $7, $20. But when you're putting things together and you're eating this stuff, it tastes really good. And you know it's really good for your body. You'll feel different. I promise. When you eat just these two items, you will feel so good that um, within 10 minutes of digesting it, you will feel better. Now, when you go do that walk, you're going to feel better. Your lungs are going to breathe better. I mean, it's just amazing when you take these small steps where you quit smoking, you start walking more, and you start buying better food. Now, I know everybody's saying, hey, it's hard to buy better food. Everything's getting more expensive. You don't use as much better food as you do crappy food. And I'm telling you the truth. I mean, the same thing applies to dog food. Like, if you buy a little bit of dog food, that dog food goes a lot longer than the super cheap dog food. Because the super cheap dog food has all fillers in it. It might only last a couple weeks, where the more expensive dog food will last three weeks. And that is by trial. You have to practice that. Now, another item I like to use in my stir fries is soy sauce. And uh, it's funny, this even has recipes on the bottom. But um, this has a total fat of zero. The problem with this is the sodium is 42%. So we got quite a bit of sodium, so we have to think about the salt content. Total carbs is zero. So there we go. Great for you. Not too much crap in this. It is brewed and made in the USA. The ingredients is this. is water, soybeans, wheat, salt. Um, that's it. Three ingredients. Now, maybe the soybeans ain't super good for you. Like I said, I'm not a health nut. What I try to look for um, is the least amount of ingredients as possible, and can I read them? You know, if I start seeing these super long names, I'm like, well, what is that crap, right? And most of the stuff that is super long names basically is to make it last forever, and that's, that's what the whole idea is. Uh, peanut butter. You want to try a trick. When you're looking for peanut butter... And you get in the aisle of the peanut butter. Look at the ingredients of the peanut butter. And look at the top brands like Jiffy or any of those other ones. They got like 15 different ingredients to make peanut butter. And then all of a sudden you'll pick up one and you'll see three ingredients. And the price will be like 20 cents difference. Sometimes it's cheaper. And you'll be like, well, why has this got so many ingredients and why has this one only got three? Well, because they're trying to make it last forever. And the thing is, when you start buying food that's better for you, you can't just forget about it. It'll go bad a lot quicker. So even your peanut butter, like, you can't just leave it for three months. That peanut butter will go bad compared to that jiffy that you leave in there for six months. So you have to plan your meals. You have to say, yes, I'm going to eat tomato sandwiches. So I'm going to pick up, you know, this particular mayonnaise. Or I'm going to do stir fries. So I'm going to pick up this and that's what you have to do you have to plan i plan to eat peanut butter sandwiches or i plan to eat um one of my favorite things to do is take peanut butter and raspberry jam and mix it together and then put it on uh, whole wheat bread and eat that it makes for a great meal very quickly so when i go grocery shop and it really drives my wife crazy i'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> When I go grocery shopping, to me, it's an adventure, okay? Um, it's something I have to do usually every week, every two weeks, um, depending on when clients pay me. And to me, it's an adventure. If I'm going to go in there and I'm going to drop three, four, five hundred dollars $500, I'm really going to take my time. You know, a lot of things I buy is blueberries, strawberries. That's what I snack on. Um, I'm spending probably 30 to 50 bucks a week just on fruit. And uh, that's me. doesn't mean you have to. But one of the biggest things is I'm always looking at the ingredients. Or if I forget my glasses, I'm looking at my single. What's in that? You know, and he knows exactly where the ingredients are. He has learned about this from me is what he's done. You know, and I'll pick up. Like, I must have picked up four different soy sauces. And I was like, nope, nope. Now, this stuff was more expensive. The other stuff, um, I think it was $1.50. This was like three fifty. I mean... 
it was more expensive. I'm not looking at price when I buy groceries. I'm looking at ingredients. And that's it. That's how I shop. Now, if all I can buy is $100 in food, then I'm buying stuff with the better ingredients. And that's it. And I've been there. That's what I've done, you know. And that's the biggest thing. But you can't buy this and expect, like the avocado oil is only good for six months. You can't buy this stuff and expect it to last forever. It's not going to do that. You know, but you'll notice one ingredient, you know, two or three ingredients, three ingredients. And that's how food should be bought and that's how food should be paid for. If you start buying food like this and shop by ingredients, they're going to change. You know, they're not going to give us this crap food anymore. You know, when I see my wife pick up something in the freezer section, she sees me doing it all the time. I'll just be going, oh, man. And she says, stop it. I said, stop what? She says, you're doing it again. Well, I said, what am I doing? I said, that stuff's killing you. Read the ingredients. She says, I'm not reading the ingredients. I says, why? And she'll buy those hot pocket things or whatever, and I'll just shake my head and I'll go, really? And... I'm surprised she's not a diabetic. I really am. How <laughs> she eats like she can eat anything, and um, it's just not me. I like to eat better food that's good for me, and I've noticed how it affects my body. I've noticed how it affects when I carry my pack, and I love carrying my pack. It is my thing. Okay, for a lot of people, they'll buy a pack and never carry it. Not me. I love carrying my pack. I'm always upgrading my pack. I'm always swapping stuff out. I mean, I'm not necessarily always looking for something lighter. I'm always looking for sometimes it's a little bit heavier. That's just me. But what I'm suggesting that you do is start looking at ingredients. Okay? And not just buy these three items I'm showing you. Literally look at the ingredients. Turn it around and look at it. You start seeing 10, 15 ingredients, you might as well convince yourself it's killing me. And that's it. One of the worst aisles in the grocery store is the cereal aisle. Do you know why those colored boxes are, all those cereals are covered in so much color? It's to get you to buy poison. They literally should put a sign at the end of that aisle that says poison. And yet I see everybody down there buying their children the poison. And yet they claim they love their kids. Or they claim I'm too busy or I can't. Look, it's your kids. You're killing them. And that's all there is to it. I know cereal is quick. I know it's easy. And there are some cereals that are okay, but they are very expensive. And the sad part is that that aisle, I don't even go down. I really don't. I don't go down the cereal aisle at all. It doesn't exist in my mind whatsoever. I concentrate more on fruits, meats, proteins, um, stuff like that is what I do. And then I figure out how do I dress it up and make it healthier. Like when I cook, for example, I don't use Teflon. I don't use nonstick. Everything I use is stainless steel. Everything. That Teflon comes off and goes into your body, and that hurts you too. People are getting cancer because of it. So from the point of actually cooking to the frying pan all the way to the ingredients, you have to pay close attention to. If you don't want to, that's your thing. You want to get cancer, you want to die, just walk into a cancer hospital. You'll see you don't want that. And if you can prevent it, then by all means do it. And I wish I would have been doing this when I was in my 30s. You know, because I never took very good care of my body back then. I really didn't. I was too busy working trying to pay off a mortgage. But one thing's for sure. Yes, this was 20 bucks. Yes, this was 7 bucks. But this will last me 2 or 3 months. And when I put it in my mouth, I feel good. My body feels better. And uh, everything that happens within your body feels better. When you go walking, when you put a pack on. But it all starts with quitting smoking. It all starts with walking. And then you bring this in next. Please. If you're smoking, quit now. I've made multiple videos about that. I've even had people make fun of me because of it. Like they think cigarettes are something cool. They're not cool. I mean, they destroy your teeth, they destroy your breath, there's just everything about it that's gross, and that's all there is to it. But start looking at your ingredients, and you will start to feel better. Catch you later.